In an age where computers and video are becoming much more prevalent in athletics, we might consider how we might use some of these devices to our advantage. I remember years ago when I first started compiling information, all I used to do, and I do the same thing now for my young girl softball teams, is I use a three by five card that has a baseball diamond designed on the front and then little information or notes that I can write about some specific tasks that a girl can do or can't do. And I mark on that card every ball that she hits against our club and if we happen to play her next year or if we play her two or three times this year, it will give me a little bit of information in terms of where to play my defense because she might be a dead pull hitter, she might be somebody that hits everything back through the middle or she might be someone who hits the ball the other way all the time. If you start to utilize some of this information, it will be a great advantage for you in the future. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you a 3 by 5 card that I just happened to use with my girls softball team all the way up the line to using um, what I call a computer readout to be able to predict where, let's say for instance, I'll give you an example of a Will Clark from the San Francisco Giants in where he hit the ball. When you keep this kind of information over a period of time, it's unbelievable the information you can pull off of this. And you will see on this card that we are going to illustrate that Will Clark is unlike most left-handers in baseball. He pulls left-hand pitchers and hits right-hand pitchers to his power alley, which is left center field. That's very unusual because in baseball, most left-handers bail against left-hand pitchers and they hit flares and hit balls the other way. Well, I'm not smart enough to remember all that information, but because through the use of, of computers, I'm able to jot that information down over the last series, over the last two series, over the last year, the last two years, how any, any way I want to put that down and it gives me a competitive edge as a manager or as a coach to be able to predict what the other team's going to do. For most of your purposes, everyone has access at least to a video camera. And the use of video cameras and television for teaching is tremendous. One of the greatest techniques you can use is to have a videotape of a, of a World Series softball game that you see on TV, videotape some of those because ESPN runs all the women's softball championships from all over the country. To videotape some of those, bring your team over to the house, let them sit on the floor and let the game start. If the first girl gets on first base, start asking questions. Shortstop, what are you going to do if the ball's hit to you? Second base, what are you going to do? Uh, right fielder, what are you going to do if the ball's hit directly at you in right field? Where are you going to throw the ball? Who's got the pitcher on a ball back to the pitcher? And you can ask those questions and then watch the game develop as it does naturally on TV and then ask more questions. It becomes a great teaching tool if you have especially a real young, inexperienced girls softball team that are beginners, that are just starting out. It's a great place. You can have popcorn and Cokes and use the video as a teaching tool at home.